Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be setting up the extra shortcodes plugin by QSM. And you can use a service called InstaWP to quickly launch your own disposable WordPress environment. It has amazing free and paid features, so check out their website at instawp.io. From your WordPress dashboard, click QSM. If you have not installed Quiz and Survey Master, there is a link in the description that will show you how to install and set up this plugin. Once it's all set up, from this dashboard, click Extend QSM with Pro Add-ons. Okay, so here we have three different pricing plans. If we scroll down, we can find individual add-ons. Let's look for the extra shortcodes plugin. Click Browse All Add-ons. Okay, so all we need to do is scroll down this page to find the add-on that we need. Okay, so it's right here. Click Extra Shortcodes. On this page, on the right, you can select the number of sites for which you want to purchase this add-on. Once you're done, click Add to Cart. On the Cart page, simply enter your payment information. Once you're done, you will receive your license key as well as a link to download your add-on. So let's go ahead and set up the add-on. Let's close this window to go to our WordPress dashboard. From the dashboard, hover over Plugins, then click Add New. Click Upload Plugin, and here you can either choose a file from your computer or drag and drop the add-on from your download location to this box right here. Then click Install Now. Click Activate Plugin. Okay, so our plugin is activated. Now we need to add our license key. So on the left at the bottom, hover over QSM again and click Add on Settings. On this page, next to Extra Shortcodes, click Settings. It's on the right. Once you're on this page, paste your license key into this Add on License Key field. Okay, so once you have added your license key, Simply move over to the left and click Save Changes. Okay, so let's view the extra shortcodes. So at the bottom, we have a number of shortcodes that can be used to display information, well, quiz-related information, on our website. So each shortcode has a description right next to it. You would need to actually edit some of the information within the shortcode to make its action more accurate. So I'm going to show you guys an example of how you can use these shortcodes on your website. Open quizzes or surveys in a new tab. So here we have a quiz and a survey. Let's view the shortcode for the first one to get the quiz ID. So the quiz ID is two, is the number after the equal sign. Let's go back and copy a short code. All right, so let's choose a short code. Let's use quiz taken to display the number of times the quiz was taken. Simply highlight and copy the short code. Create a new page or post. I'm gonna create a new page. I'm gonna call this test. Next, I'm going to add a new block at the bottom and click the plus button, then click short code, paste your short code right here. And we just want to remove this one and type two. So remember, this is our quiz ID. Click preview, preview in a new tab. Okay, so here we have three. So this quiz has been taken three times. Let's try another one. Let's close this page first. Go back to the quizzes or surveys. View the short code for general questions. Its ID is one. Let's go back and replace this two with one. Click preview. Okay, so this quiz has never been taken. Okay, so I really hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If this video could help someone you know, be sure to share it with that person. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video.